Hello and welcome to my tutorial video on how to update the firmware on your Celestron telescope. Software needed are Celestron's Firmware Manager or CFM for short, JavaScript installed, RAW unzip software. Here you can see my next star connected to my power bank but not to my laptop as yet. It is also not switched on. You can do this with battery power if you want but make sure that your battery is in good condition. You won't want to lose power halfway through in the update process. I have a compatible USB cable that connects to my telescope handset to my computer. Do not power on or connect to the computer as yet. If you have all the software already downloaded then skip this bit. Let's download the CFM file from Celestron and go to the address shown or find it in the search engine. Now let's download JavaScript. Check it's been downloaded. Right, I've already made a shortcut to both downloads to my desktop. Let's start by unzipping the CFM file to your desktop. If you open the unzipped folder and navigate to the CFM executable Java file and open it, it comes up with the box that is pretty much useless. It should, however, start CFM software instead. To do this we have to install Java. Go through the process of installing Java and once done try and open the CFM program again but this time right click open with JavaScript. Again, it does not work. It comes with an error shown. The reason for this is that Java needs to have administration rights to execute the software. Now, you can't just right click on Java icon and open as administrator. It don't work. I've tried it. You have to go into JavaScript's executable file properties and change some settings. Go through the process until you get to the bin file and all the files are in there. Right click each one in turn and go to properties. Click the compatibility tab and then tick run this program as administrator then apply changes. Once done try and open the CFM file again remember right click open with Java. program should open. It's already, if you notice, it's already downloading update software needed. If your telescope has been detected, fantastic. Just click update and leave it to it. If not, as on mine, it will come up with a process to find your scope. This don't work. It says connect your telescope to your computer with the cable. Press the button with the icon on it and while pressing the button turn on your scope. If it works great but if it doesn't you need to tell your software which COM port it's connected to. Turn the power off your scope, unplug your USB cable from your computer only. You need to tell your software which COM port it's connected to.
navigate to your systems device manager. With your device manager open, reconnect the USB cable and a new device should appear in your port, com and LPT section. This will have the COM port number you need to put into your CFM software. Go back to your software, enter the changes in your COM port number as required. If it hasn't already done so, click find and your telescope should be listed once done. With this completed, just click the update button at the bottom to update your telescope and just let it get on with it.